Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to start on your little mini album folio. Now, I know I have quite a few people that ask, could you please put up a finished picture before you start on your projects? I can't on this one because I don't have one made completely. I'm going to be making this as you make yours. So... All I can do is just show you how to get started off on it and then we will just work together and make ours. Now the first thing you need to do of course is print off your file folder template. Now I have readjusted the file folder template so if you haven't already printed it off you can go and uh, re-click on that and I have moved everything down so that it will print correctly on the eight and a half by 11 paper now there's two of these on there one that has the little tab this way and then one that has the tab over here I will, I will link the uh, my blog post below that has all of these templates on there they're a PDF form so you should be able to go in there and print them off and they should be the actual size you do need to make sure that your printer prints at actual size or 100% whatever it says on on yours every printer is different so I don't know exactly what to tell you but just make sure that it's printing actual size and it should print yours off the same size that I put in the templates so I have readjusted this and then I have also uh, moved this around and readjusted this one so that everything will print off on that one eight and a half by eleven piece of paper now I've also, let's see, this one prints fine. This is the pocket and the mat. This one prints fine. That's the pocket and the mat. And then I have also gone in, and let me see if I can find it. Here it is over here. I have also gone back in and made a uh, tab because I know some people may want to, let me find mine that I've got started some people may want to go in here right here and put a tab on a different color than what your file folder is if you do i have i have created this it looks a little wonky in the picture and when you print it off and cut it out it's going to look a little wonky but it fits on here perfectly i'll show you my template i've already cut my template out and let's see one way it fits perfect. There we go. That way, right there. Now, I made this a little bit long, so you can either trim it off or leave it the length. It doesn't matter. I just made it a little bit long for those who might want to leave it longer. But um, if you put it in there, you, if you put it up one way, you're going to see that it doesn't fit exactly right. See, that one is a little bit off. Because one side of these tabs is cut differently than the other. So if you put it on there, that way it fits perfectly. That's my template right there. I always take, and some people ask me what I did my templates out of. These are the little back pieces of like paper pads and things that you get or that little thin chipboard that comes in your paper pads. I use these to print my templates off on. And then I just cut them, cut them out and then I have them in a nice thick um chipboard and then I can lay them on my paper and trace them real easy that way so that's what I use okay now another thing I have gone ahead and when I started putting mine together I have created a pocket I'm going to have a pocket on each one of mine at the top right here as you can see that opens up that's going to be a pocket so I created a tag for the pocket if you want to use that again this is just extras and it's up to you if you want to use it but it's a four I think it's a four and a half by five tag and it fits down in there perfectly and I rounded the corners off for you so though that template is on the same one that the tag is on and I have already put that over on my blog I think that is all and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're scoring these now, if you have already printed yours out and scored your little file folders down the center, we're going to need to score a little bit more. We're going to need to score a little bit different. I hope you haven't already done that. But if you have, don't worry about it. Don't throw them away. We can still use them. 
you're going to need to put your file folder on your scoreboard with this tab, not this part, the shorter tab. So this is the longer part. This is the shorter tab. You're going to need to put it in there with this tab at the top left. Then you're going to score, find my score tool, you're going to score at four and three quarters and at five. So four and three quarters and five is where you're going to score. And then that's going to make you a quarter inch uh, spine there on each one of your file folders. That way you have a lot of room in here to put pictures and pockets and embellishments and all kinds of things. Instead of just gluing them down flat, I thought this might be better, but if you don't want to do this and you want to fold them just in the center and glue them down fat, flat, that is up to you. So either way will work, but I just wanted a little bit extra room in mine, so that's why I did mine this way. So what you need to do today, and we're going to go at this kind of a slower pace because I want all of you to understand exactly how this goes together. I don't want to hurry through it. I want you to be able to print your templates off, um, go ahead and trace everything and get your file folders cut out and all your pieces cut out and then we'll start assembling. So I've got my file folders cut out and what I did is cut mine in pink and purple. And I'm just going to alternate mine. And see, when mine go together, this is the way they're going to look. Just like that. That's going to be my spine. It's going to be nice and flat. So then I can put something else on here to cover up my spine. I can either put an, a piece of paper, a piece of chipboard. I can put lace on here, whatever I want to do. There's a lot of different ways that we can um, enclose this spine. So we're going to leave that for later. But I'm going to show you how I'm putting mine together. Now, I put a purple one down first, and there's my little tab on the purple, and then I put a pink one. I made sure my tab fell up here in the pink one, and then I'm going to put a purple one down on top of that. So I'm going to alternate mine back and forth because I'm using the paper pack that's going to come in your March e-club kit, and it's called I Love Easter. It's got lots of embellishments. The paper, This paper is gorgeous. It's so cute for Easter projects. And this is going to be my little Easter mini album. So what you're going to, you're going to do is decide which way your file folder is going to glue on here. And mine needs to go with this tab down here. So I need to put my glue back here. Now, I don't want to put my glue all the way through here because I want this to be a pocket. So I'm going to put glue just straight down through here, over through here, and then just up through here. That's the only place I'm going to put glue. So let's put it just as close to the edge as we can. And then over this way back up oops and then that way and I'm gonna wipe that little bit off right there before I glue that together because I didn't mean to go off like that there we go and then what you're gonna do is open this up the one that you just put together you're gonna need to open it up and you need to match the score line to the score line. Don't worry about the top up here. Match your score line so that your spine is going to be perfectly aligned. So let's see if I can get mine on there. That's why I'm using art glitter glue. I want to have a little bit of wiggle room so that I can get those spines perfectly even like Let's see, I need to move that up a little bit. Like that. Then, I'll open this up and press all this down. Okay, so our spines are still nice and flat. Just like that. And then I have my tab down here. And you see, if you get those score lines even, then all of this is going to come out even as well. The top and the bottom, everything. Then when I open it up, I have my little 
pocket opening up here at the top and I'm not going to pull on it a lot because that glue is still setting so we're going to make sure that it gets glued down well before we start pulling on it now when you glue these together you may need to come back and put a little glue right here where this back one does that little you know cut in just if you do just come back and put that glue there it's fine all right and then we can go ahead and do our tab up here at the top make sure that you're putting your tabs at the top I want to show you what I did and I fixed it I don't think you'll be able to tell <laughs> I actually cut my tab down here on the first one because I wasn't paying attention to where my opening was but I went ahead and put that piece back in and then glued this top on there and I don't think anybody is going to be able to tell so just make sure that when you're cutting your tab that you cut it at the top and not the bottom now all we're going to do is we're going to measure from the score line the last score line over we've got four and a quarter so we know that our center is going to be at two and an eighth somewhere right in there i think let's see two and eight two and eight that looks about right now, if you've already got one cut, like I do, then you can just lay this one up against that one and mark it. But, in order to get your first one started, just make sure that you come over about two and an eighth, and then mark your center, and then punch your tab out that way. So, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I get this evened up here. And then, I'm just going to mark where I want my tab cut out so I made sure that my spine was opened up like that not flattened out and then I just put those together and then marked where I need to cut that and if I mark if I marked it right and I cut it right then all of my openings should fall in line back through there so let's go ahead and make sure we got the opening there and punch this out. Now if you want to punch all of these, if you do want to put pockets in yours, you don't have to put pockets in them. But if you want to punch all of these before you put your uh, little album together, you can. The only thing is, if you don't make sure that you get all of them punched in the same place and that you put these spines together perfectly, then they're not going to line up. That's why I'm punching mine as I go. And you see, they're lined up perfectly, just like that. And now we can go ahead and put our mat on this one. Now I have cut my mats at four and one eighth by five and a quarter. Depending on how much of your background you want to show is, the, you know, that depends on how you want to cut yours. I didn't want a lot of mine to show, so I'm cutting mine at four and an eighth. If you want more of yours to show, you can cut it at four. But see, with my four and an eighth by five and a quarter, that's what I'm going to get right there. I'm going to have a little purple here, a little purple here, and a little purple over here. And I like that part. Now, in order to get my little tab cut out at the top, I'm just going to slide this all the way up to the top. Just like that. Make sure that it's centered on both sides the way I want to put it down. Then I'm going to flip it over and just mark on the back. Just like that. Then I'll take my punch and... I'm going to always go on the outside or the bottom side of that pencil line and that should make it fall in there just right. Let's see. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Just right. Now, on these corners on this side, I'm going to round them just like they're rounded on your file folder. So, I'm just going to take my little corner rounder and I'm going to round these off. Just like that. And see, that makes it kind of fit a little bit better. 
Now on this, I'm going to put this all the way down. I'm not going to leave any opening for any kind of pocket or anything. I've already got my pocket there. So I'm gluing this one all the way down. Just like that. Okay. So there is your mat on that one. I think they're cute. And then I can put my mat over here. Got my mat there and my mat there. So this is how my little file folder mini album is coming together. You can see I'm going to have plenty of room in here to put all of my photos and embellishments and everything. And then in each one of these, I'm going to have a pocket at the top. So what I need you to do, I'm going to give you some homework. <laughs> what I need you to do is go ahead and print off all of your file folders, cut them out of whatever kind of paper or cardstock you want to use for the backing. Go ahead and do all your pockets. I've got my some of my little pockets already put together and matted. I think that is going to be cute. Look at that. Isn't that going to be cute? And, of course, you can do yours out of just solid if you want to. You don't have to put the extra mat on there. You could do them just solid, just like that. That's up to you. I've just given you the templates, and then you go with it from there. Uh, these are all my little templates. You can see I've got all of mine cut out and marked. Here's a pocket. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do the pockets before, we, um, before I give you your homework. See, you thought you was out of school and you'd never have homework again. All right, put your pocket, when you um, trim your pocket out for your template and then you put it on your paper and trim it out, you're going to have these little things right here. And then, of course, you've got this. So this needs to go at the top. And then you're going to score at one half inch down. You're going to turn it to the right. Score it one half inch across. Oops, let me do that again. One half inch across, and then turn it to the right one more time, and score at one half inch that way. Now you can go ahead and fold and burnish these. And then right down here where you have this, I just marked mine on my paper. Um, go ahead and trim that out just like that. Okay, so you got that trimmed out like that. Then you can take your score tape. Now, if you're going to use wet glue on this, then you can go ahead and use wet glue and you need to put them down immediately. I do mine ahead of time and I use score tape on them, but that's up to you. Whichever one you want to use will work. I do mine just like this with my score tape. Now, right at the top, right here, we're gonna need to cut those at a little bit of an angle, both sides. Just like that. That's all you need. Just that little bit of an angle. Then I go ahead. This is the way I do my score tape. Now if you're not going to use score tape. You don't even have to worry about watching this part. But let me find my pick tool. Where did it go? There it is. I just pull mine up. My score tape backing up a little bit on that side. And I lay that down. And then lay that back over it. Like I said I make mine ahead of time. So, therefore, I go ahead and get everything stuck on. See, I'm sticking that down, laying that back down. There is my pocket. Y'all have seen me make these pockets many, many times before like this. And, as you can see, your paper will slide down in there and it won't stick to anything. Just like that. Alright, so there's another pocket. All I need to do is put my mat on. And, of course, this is your mat. That's your template for your mat. And then... I'm going to go ahead and do this one for you. This is the little slanted pocket. And what you need to do is put it in with this corner over here against your against the side of your scoreboard. You're going to score at one half inch. 
You're going to turn it one turn, score at one half inch, turn it one turn, and on this little piece right here, you're going to score at one half inch. All right, then we can fold this over. This green is some really, really thick paper. And fold this up. And then fold this one over. Okay, now you can see the way I made the template, this part you're not going to have to trim. When that folds over, that's going to be fine. But we do need to trim this one up here just a little bit. You can do it now or after you put your adhesive on. I go, I'm going to go ahead and do that one now. And then for your corners, again, they're just going to cut out the same way that other did. I cut mine at a little bit of a slant. A little bit of an oval, I should say. I cut mine in a little bit of an oval, like that, for my corners. Then we're going to put some score tape down. Like that, and a little piece right here. And then again, I'm making this ahead of time, so I'm just going to pull that edge up and stick that down. Pull this edge up and stick that side down. And there is a my slanted pocket right there. And then, of course, you have your mat. There's my mat for my slanted pocket right there. Just a little bit of your pocket color is going to show. So that's how you do everything so you can go ahead like i said print your templates off cut them out go ahead and cut your cardstock out for your file folders as many as you want you can make this album thick it doesn't matter you can make it thinner than mine i think i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine i think i've got nine right here i may do more i don't know but go ahead and print out as many as you want uh, and then do your pockets, get all of that printed out and all of them scored and your paper together. And then tomorrow we will come back and I'll get mine put together and tomorrow we'll come back and start assembling everything. I want to do it in stages like that because it's going to make it a little bit easier on those who have never done an album like this before. So get these pieces cut out and ready to go and tomorrow we're going to come back and assemble all of this all right guys that is it for today i'm going to put that blog post below these are free to you all i ask is that you make sure that you are a subscriber to our youtube channel that just helps us pay for the program and everything that we do these um, pdfs on doesn't cost you anything to be a subscriber so that's all that i ask for you to download all of these templates and use them for free now these are for your personal use only they're not for you to sell and they're not for you to give away to anybody these are for your personal use only they are copyright copyrighted for scrapbooking with me all right guys we'll talk to you later thanks so much for watching bye bye